Hi everybody, I'm just on my way to Philadelphia from Toronto uh, and we're just at a pit stop here trying to get some food um, and whatnot. But I wanted to record this because um, I wanted to tell a quick story about how I've always wanted the iPad and I finally have one. Uh, I think what's happened um, over the last few months is I wanted an iPad and then I wanted to wait for the iPad 2 and then I couldn't really justify buying it because you know we had all these gadgets at home we have you know an iMac uh, you know I have an Apple laptop um, we have an 87 SC30 um, you know two iPhones we have all these gadgets and I just felt like you know I couldn't really justify buying an iPad so um, good news is that I have one um, I work for this company called uh, Price Metrics uh, we're in downtown Toronto we're uh, a software company that sells to financial institutions um, and anyway the story is that we signed um, a pretty big deal uh, recently in June I think and you know there was an influx of cash the whole company rallied together to really get that project done it was a lot of work uh, we sort of productized this new way of delivering um, you know our data anyway our CEO was so ecstatic and so thankful to all the staff that he decided and made an announcement to give everybody, all the employees, an iPad, which was such a great bonus. Um, so, ta-da! I have one. And look, it says price metrics. And now we have 40,000 subscriptions. So now we're 40,000 subscriptions strong. Um, you know, we're ecstatic. I'm really happy to have this. I've been playing with it since last night because I got it yesterday in the evening. Um, and now that I'm on my way to Philadelphia, the whole plan is to buy some very interesting accessories um, to further leverage the technology in this little thing. Hi everybody, so I promised you that I'm going to shop for some interesting iPad accessories. Um, so I'm in Atlantic City, I'm in the big iPad store, actually, sorry, Apple store here. And look what I have in my hand. It's like a little pen with a little sponge at the bottom. So check it out. I'm using an app called Bamboo. It allows me to create notes. I can take notes, I can draw wireframes. So I just I was testing it earlier before we started recording it. So check it out. So I'm in a meeting, we're talking about web design. I could quickly mock up my page. Oh, whatever. And I'm like, okay, so this is sort of like a basic wireframe. I want to make a couple of notes. I can scribble some stuff on the side. And you know what? I don't ever have to transfer this to paper. I can actually just email it to myself or save it as an image or even print this right off. So I love that feature. You can also change your colors. You can erase some of this stuff. Oops. Da -da -da. Oh, you can clear your page. I didn't know that. So this is my first purchase here today. I'm going to look for some other interesting things. So I'm back in Toronto and I basically raided the Apple store in Philadelphia and bought a couple of things, but I want to show you, um, you know, a few key, key items. Uh, the first thing I got is this Apple TV. I hope you already know what it is, um, but basically you can stream any media, any content from any of your computers, your iPad, your iPhone onto your TV. Uh, it actually comes with this little remote. Look at how thin and tiny this is. It's so cute. Um, you can actually control the Apple TV with this remote, but also any Apple computer. So it actually um, ends up being quite a used item. Uh, it, the one thing to remember is that if you have more than one Apple computer in your house, this tends to become a little sensitive because it doesn't really recognize which computer you're trying to control, especially if they happen to be in the same vicinity. So you just have to work around that a little. Uh, the third thing I want to show you is this digital AV adapter. Um, I think you can buy it for $39 in the States, um, and it comes in really handy as well. So for example, if you're in a boardroom meeting at work, you can actually just plug this into your iPad and um, sort of stream your slides onto a projector, or you could hook it up to your TV or, you know, whether it's at work or at home, and if you're playing a game, you can share that, with, that experience with your friends and family and things like that. Um, I also want to show you my favorite accessory, which is the um, iPad smart cover. So check out my iPad, it's attached to it. Um, I got the leather version, there's other different uh, vinyl colors and versions available, but the reason it's called our smart cover is because, check this out, it actually attaches and detaches to the iPad with these magnetic hinges, check it out. So it actually smartly attaches back to the iPad 
And the way it does that is this, like a couple, couple of mag magnetic um, spots in the iPad and it automatically just attaches itself there. The second reason it's a smart cover is because it locks and unlocks my iPad automatically. So hear that sound, unlocks, and it's locks. so you hear that? Um, I love that feature. Some people don't like it, they get annoyed by it, and you can easily go to settings and turn that off. I personally like it. The third thing that I really use it a lot for is that I can actually use this smart cover as a stand, so I don't really have to buy a separate stand. So see how I roll that up? I can rest it here. I can go to my musical instrument, instrument, my xylophone app, play my instrument, or I could actually, if I want to watch a movie, I could just turn this around, rest it like this, upright, and watch and stream any content. So if I want to curl up, uh, you know, watch a movie with, with my husband, I can do that this way. Um, so really handy little um, accessory here. But something that I wanted to bring to your attention was, you can actually go to the Apple Store and get a business account. I didn't really know about this, but this time when I went to the Apple Store, uh, one of the geniuses just came up to me and told me about this business account. And the advantage of that is that you can purchase anything online in the Apple Store and attribute it to this account. So for taxation purposes, even if you have like a sole proprietorship or you're a consultant, you can attribute all your Apple purchases to the business account and write that off. And so I think that's um, that's really handy. And also, you know, you get discounts over time. So I, I don't know what it is, maybe five to 10%. But I think this is something that a lot of people don't know about. I've made so many purchases and now finally, they'll all be attributed to the business account. Um, for me, I've bought accessories and things that make sense for my lifestyle. Um, so I encourage you to go to the Apple Store, go online and explore what accessories make sense for you and your lifestyle. Thank you.